So now we're going to look at how we can save st um, assets like uh, style sheets or scripts or images that are located somewhere else and this location can change and we need a way to kind of specify to make sure that like um, the resources are delivered from the correct location each time. I'll show you a scenario to make this a bit easier. So in the document we're loading right here, it looks for this um, place called pics and it looks for this boats.jpg file. And this boat, there isn't actually a pics folder here because let's say that we need to host the boats.jpg file somewhere else. Maybe a server that loads images faster. So we need a way to, so that when we look at this pics folder, what it does instead is it loads the actual like server location with all our images. And in this case, instead of the server, we just have this images folder right here. But this might not even be in this folder. It might just be somewhere else. So we need a way so that when we go to the pics folder, it intercepts it and serves this folder instead. And this is where we'll be using something called middleware. So what that does is it just intercepts a root and just does something else instead. So to do this, we'll just use app.use. Oops. So the function is just app.use like this. And here we just put the path which we want to intercept. So it's the pics path that we want to intercept. So when it goes to the pics folder, we want it to give it this instead. And here, the second argument is you give it a function to run and expresses a function where it'll replace the path for you. And that function is called express.static like this. And inside this, you give it an absolute path to wherever the folder you want is, and it will replace this slash pics with that. So when we give the absolute path, we just give it the dir, we just call the dir name. Remember, dir name just points to the current directory, and then put slash images like this. Sorry, this should be a plus like that. So what this will do is whenever there's a request made to slash pics, it'll replace that slash pics with this full path right here to this images folder. And then it'll find the boats.jpg file right there. So if I save this now and um, shut down the server and restart it, and we refresh the page, we can see that the picture has actually loaded this time. So again, what it's done is here it's looking at the slash pics folder, so that's been intercepted and this folder right here has been served instead. And then the image is actually there. And if this image was hosted elsewhere, we could change this right here to be wherever we wanted it to be. So if I had an image from the web, for example, I could put a web address in here. So in this scenario, what they want us to do is we have this um, style.css file right here. and in the index.html, which is in views, so style.css is in public, index.html is in views, and they just have the code set up like this. So it just looks at slash and then looks at style.css. So we want to intercept any routes to the current folder and then replace it with this public right here. So the way you would do this is in here, you would say app.use like this, and if we don't give it an argument, so if we don't give it a path as the first argument, it will just make sure it does it for any request. So we can just leave this right here. And in here, we want to give it the function. So we want to use express express.static like this. And again, we want to do dir name like this, and then slash public like this. So for any route it, where we just have slash in like this, what this will do is it'll redirect it to this slash public folder. So if we save this now and we refresh the page, we can see that this style sheet has been loaded and the CSS has now been applied to this page. So if I just, that's all everything we need to do really. So I'm just gonna paste this in and submit it now. Yeah, that's it.